Hi, I'm Cowboy Bootmaker Lisa Sorrell, and I've been doing a series on the top machines that a cowboy bootmaker needs in a boot shop. We've talked about the flatbed machine and the post machine. Those are sewing machines. And then we've also talked about the curved needle and the straight needle. So this time I'm going to talk about the finishers. This is, these are sanding wheels. Now when I first got started in a boot shop, I had one big line finisher like this. This is called a line finisher. They're old. They're pretty easy to find. They're usually relatively inexpensive when you do find them. But they're heavy and they're generally pretty long. Mine was, I think, 12 foot long, and it had both the polishing wheels on it and the sanding wheels. Sometimes they come with a blower, sometimes they don't. But anyway, they're big and heavy. A lot of times you can get them for nothing if you'll just agree to get them out of someone's garage. What I have, I just have the polishing wheels on my line finisher, and that way I don't have to worry about a blower because they're not making any dust. Now over here, this is my sanding machine. This is my sanding finisher, and it has a nice blower on it, and then it's connected to this huge vacuum. But anyway, this is a sander. I do all of my sanding on it. So if I'm shaping a heel, I would rough sand it until I get it the shape I want, and then I'd fine sand it. And then, I always keep a cup of water here and a little foam brush. Because not only can you shape things on the sander, you can always also get them really polished. So I would rough sand something, get it the shape I want, fine sand it, dip my brush in water, wet it, and what that water does is it makes the leather fibers puff up. So then when I come back, I can fine sand it again, and wet it, and fine sand it again, and wet it, and fine sand it again, and wet it, and then super fine sand it, and that's how I get a really smooth finish on my heels or my soles. This right here is a Nomkeg. That is spelled N-A-U-M-K-E-G. I have no idea what Nomkeg means or why it's called a Nomkeg. It sounds like a word from another language, but I don't know what it means. Anyway, it's a sanding disc, and you can get up into tight places with this sanding disc. Now, when I work on my finisher, I wear headphones to block out the noise because I'm trying not to go deaf or deafer. And I also use a mask. Even though it has a vac system on it and a blower, you're still breathing a certain amount of dust and that dust is not good for your lungs. So I recommend using a mask so that you're not breathing so much leather dust. One day I was working on the sander and I went to turn on the vacuum and it's, we have a little fuse box thing for it. And so- Just, just, just a switch. Instead of pushing the start button, I like leaned up against it and put my fingers around it, and I got all the wires in the back, and I electrocuted myself. And that's the reason my hair is so curly. 